Hey, Skipper. Seems like everything's coming together. After what we saw in Vermeer, it better come together. Alenko, the lieutenant. I'd hate to think his loss meant nothing. There's a lot of work left. There's always more. There's a reason for everything that happened, Shepard, even if you don't understand it at the time. What happened on Akuz, it's not easy to lose your unit, I know. But it gave you the drive you needed on this mission. And that got you here, commanding the finest tin can in the Alliance fleet. This is exactly where the galaxy needs you to be. No pressure. Where do you need me, Chief? Wouldn't mind a foot massage, sir. Sorry, I'll be serious. I... I need time to think. We've been focused on the mission. When we're done, it'll be different, I swear. You all right with that? I understand, Chief. The galaxy isn't gonna save itself. The cheering mobs will never know how much you've sacrificed, Commander. Sleep tight, Shepard. It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. Caden was a fine officer. He knew what the risks were, but he did what he had to. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again. So to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Sterin's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Seren, then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. 
I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers and he can't even see it. He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I've got broad shoulders. I have no doubt about that. But can they carry the weight of an entire galaxy? If we don't stop Saren... No, never mind. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? Forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. 
If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Well, what about Shepard? He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. I hate being right. I wish I could say I was surprised. I was surprised Udina bought into it. I guess he's like any other politician. The council's used to being the biggest kid on the playground. They don't want to believe Daddy's coming to pick them up. And eat them, I guess. I don't care if I have to go through the council. I won't let Sovereign win. That's the spirit, Skipper. Whatever you come up with, you can count me in. I know I'm not the easiest person in the world to get to know, so I'll do you a favor. Just this once. I... want you to be happy. Whatever you need, I'll help. There. You made me say it. Boom goes my feminine mystique. I didn't think you'd want mystique. I've always thought of you as the take charge type. Oh, I can take charge if you want. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. What did he want? Only said to meet him in that club in the wards. Flux. Sounds important. You'd better go. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. 
Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. No blood for alien! Excuse me! You're the Spectre, right? Commander Shepard, it is an honor to speak with you. What's this demonstration about? I'm Charles Saraceno of the Terra Firma Party. With Armistice Day coming soon, we're making our voices heard by the alien appeasers on the Presidium. Can I count on your support in the next election? You're marking the end of the first contact war with a protest? As we have every year for the last 26 years. The war taught humanity a lesson that some would forget. If we don't stand up for ourselves, no one else will. Every day I stand up for humanity. Often in the face of bullets. What have you done lately? You really think speeches help? We all serve in our own way, Commander. I'm not a soldier. But I can tell the public why they should support your efforts. Wearing a ribbon on your lapel makes you a hero, huh? You want to help humanity? Get out of your office and pitch in. I, uh, I assure you, I'm only interested in the betterment of humanity. The same as you, Commander. I don't know Terra Firma's platform. What do you stand for? Our core value is that Earth must stand firm against alien influences. Politically, culturally, and in the worst case, militarily. It's a noble goal. Too bad so many of your supporters are just racists. I can't deny that some of our supporters have extreme views, but our platform is also supported by economists, sociologists, and medical professionals. But you don't do anything to curtail the racist comments of your members. Of course not, Commander. Whether I disagree with them or not, they have the right to express their opinion. What are you running for? I'm seeking one of the five spacer seats in Parliament. They have certain Baroque conditions for a citizen to be able to vote for them. You have to spend more than six months a year in space, but you can't have stayed in any one settled system for more than a month. You do spend most of your time in space, Commander. I'm a patriot, Mr. Saraceno. You've got my vote. It is gratifying to hear that. We can't allow anything like Shanxi to happen again. Since I have your vote, could I convince you to issue a public statement of support for my candidacy? The support of the first human specter would be invaluable. The occupation of Shanxi couldn't happen again. We weren't even sure there were aliens to garrison against back then. It's still a powerful symbol, Commander. Shanxi is the only human territory ever occupied by an alien species. We need more politicians with the courage to stand up for human rights. Excellent. I'll have my people contact you. Don't worry. We'll take care of everything. Thank you for your time, Commander. Remember Terra Firma on Election Day, because Terra Firma remembers you. Stubborn your sister can be. The more... Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. I hope it works out. Goodbye. All right. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Are you the owner? 
owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the mood strikes me. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. I'll be with you in just a sec. I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. Jenna, meet me at CSEC Academy. What did you just say? Push off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What the hell is all that about? I guess we'd better go find out. Commander. I hear you have something for me. Here's your shipment, Chelik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it, and you've earned some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Why were you tossed out of there? Doran didn't have a clue what I was doing. He, he assumed I was cheating. I know Doran. If he says you're cheating, you're cheating. I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. I just need a few more wins recorded. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. Hello again. Can I help you? I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. I think that tool should be worth something to you. I suppose it is. Uh, take a few tries of Quasar. On the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux.
Hey there, welcome to Flux. Hey, Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. You don't sound that happy about it. I'm glad she's out of the den. I'd just forgotten what it was like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. In entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Sorry, Commander. The Normandy's locked down. Ambassador Udina gave the order. I'm glad you came, Jenny. I heard what happened. They pulled me off the mission. Just like when they forced you to give up the Normandy. I know, I'm sorry. I wanted to warn you, but there was no way to get a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Ilos. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel Controls locked out all the Normandy's systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the Conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy and off this station. Stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happens. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He's not going to let you waltz into his office and use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. Udina won't let this slide, Captain. You'll be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. Uh, Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another Spectre? Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great Spectre. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. All right, let's see. I'm a bad guy. Stop me from killing you. What? No, please. Please don't hurt me. Why are you doing this? Because you're not a soldier, Conrad. You can't handle this. Go home. I thought you were a hero. Heroes don't do things like this. I wish I'd never met you. This is a restricted area. Sir, you can't... Freeze! Back away from the console! Hands up! Now!
Get us out of here, Joker. Now! Skipper? You don't have to call me that. I'm a traitor now. I probably shouldn't even be wearing this uniform. We had to do this, Shepard. You know that. There was no other way. And you'll always be the Skipper to me. Oh, Captain, my Captain. First Alfred Tennyson, now Walt Whitman. You're full of surprises. Dad loved all those sappy poets. Mom was more into Plath. I'm not a word person, Shepard. Other people say what I mean better than I do. We're mutineers, sailing a stolen warship into the most hostile system in the galaxy. Just call us humanity's best and brightest. We wouldn't have been assigned to this ship if we weren't. We'll get it done. And if we don't, at least we won't have to face the firing squad. Death closes all. But something ere the end, some work of noble note, may yet be done. Not unbecoming men that strove with gods. We'll get home again, Shepard. I believe you'll lead us through. Oh, Captain? My Captain. Is my rank all you see when you look at me? No. I see a strong, passionate man. With a great ass. There are regs against this, you know. You ready to deal with the consequences? I've spent my whole life fighting to get what I want. To get it done, I had to bury a lot of things. During that whole time, not even once did I feel like I was worth what I was fighting for. You make me feel good enough. Bunk here tonight, Ash. With me. Bold words, Shepard. I like bold. Shut up and get over here. Make me. That's a whole new spin for on the floor and give me 20, huh? <laughs> you still sassing me, soldier? I think you need more physical training. Tisk. Now, what will it take to prove I'm in prime condition, Skipper? Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. Ah, uh, duty calls. Get up to the bridge, Skipper. I've got other weapons to check out. Hey, Shepard. Whatever happens down there, I just wanted to say... Wait, you know what? I'm not telling you. You want to hear this? You'll just have to come back to me. Commander, we've got company. Have the sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker, 
I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the con- There is no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found a way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We will have to find some way to get it up and running again.
This place still has power. Must be running off its own generator. This must be the command center for the entire complex. Saren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We will have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Saren already has a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That is a chance we will have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. Too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message, but I don't recognize the language. It is probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we cannot understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Of course. Between the beacons and the cipher, an understanding of the Prothean language would have been transferred into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit... All is lost! It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped!
have spent my life studying the Protheans, but I never dreamed I would discover anything like this. This bunker might have been the last refuge of their entire species. Just imagine what mysteries it might hold. Imagine what secrets it might reveal. Hey, try to remember why we're here. Saren, the conduit, the fate of the entire known galaxy. I am sorry. I was swept up in the moment. I just hope we have the opportunity to study this place in detail after this is done. I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just have yet to run into it. What are all those things on the wall? Some kind of container? They look like stasis pods. It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I do not think Saren is behind this. 